What's up guys? What's growing on? So I got a, uh, a plant video today and I got a surprise for you. This is kind of a big surprise, so hold tight. All right, surprise time. We got Ginger and the Ginger back here. What are you doing? Petting my sweet girl, Ginger. Aww. Sitting over here by the Ginger. See, this is shampoo Ginger or pine cone Ginger. Do you wash Ginger with that? I could wash ginger with that. I could make her nice and silky with it, actually. I don't know why they call it shampoo ginger, because it doesn't actually shampoo. It's more of a conditioner, as the Hawaiians call it, or um, some people know it as awa pui. If you've ever used the Paul Mitchell awa pui shampoo and conditioner, um, this is one of the prime ingredients in that, and that's because this ginger is pretty unique. Um, it actually produces kind of a lanolin-like substance when you squeeze the cone heads here. And you can see as I squeeze it, all this liquid will be coming out. So the Hawaiian women will actually take this and um, cleanse their hair with it and use it as like a conditioner when they um, come out of the waterfalls. It feels amazing on the skin. It has a really nice, just light, spicy ginger fragrance to it. Not overpowering at all. Um, it definitely feels really great on the skin. It can be used similar to aloe. I'm not quite sure if it has quite the healing properties, but it has that same emollient kind of action to it. And um, this is one of those gingers where you wouldn't be able to eat it. The rhizomes are not very edible. Um, I have read that they have been used for medicinal purposes when prepared a certain way. Uh, but it's not going to be a very tasty tea. It has a lot of saponins to it, which means it's got a sudsing action. And I wonder if that's where it gets the name shampoo ginger from. I wonder if it is the rhizomes that produce that sudsing agent. And the cone heads themselves give more of like a conditioning action. Uh, this does really well by um, root divisions. You could put a shovel and spade off a section. You could take a, you know, a few of these home and plant it straight into the ground. Do keep in mind though, if you do plant something like this, this time of year, it's going to stay dormant the entire uh, winter season while our temperatures are low. And then come about May, you'll see this beautiful green ginger foliage start coming up and about the middle of the summer, these cone heads will start to appear. They start out green and they turn red as the season, um, as the season changes but the whole way you can do this and you can squeeze out that juicy substance. You can squeeze it and it will come right back within a few hours. And these are not actually flowers. These are just the cone heads. And the flowers, as you can see, come out of the cone head. Wonderful. Thank Love you, it. Melissa. Mm, my All right. I promised you guys we were gonna get her in front of this camera. I told you it was coming. Sorry it took so long, but thank you for all your support. Like, subscribe, and share. Pound it. 